Hello everybody. Sorry about the camera. Um, I have a little idea I'm going to do. Uh, these are sets of four and uh, these are napkins. Some of them don't have pattern all through them. Just, I mean like the whole, the, the tissue paper. This is uh, napkins, you know, which you use for decoupaging or for, you know, for just a lot of things. Anyways, this one I call the picnic and you have a, and I'm selling these as packs of fours. This is just an idea. I haven't put it on my Etsy shop or anything. If you want one, contact me on my Etsy store and tell me that you would like one and tell me which one you would prefer. Um, because I don't have it on my Etsy store and then I'll ask you your name and then I'll put your name on there as a request. Okay. Because Etsy charges us per item that we post on our Etsy store. And, yeah. And with it being hacked like I was, so... Anyways, moving on. <laughs> this one I call uh, Picnic, you know, because of, I wanted to, I was hoping to find one with ants, but I have bees instead, so that's, that'll do. Anyways, we have this Picnic Table version, which is a more of a muted brightness, and then we have the blue Picnic Table, or, yeah, Picnic Tablecloth, and then we have, these are not the tablecloths, these are actually napkins. Anyways, uh, and this is the more brighter version. Cause see, I'm gonna show you. See how this one's more brighter than that one? I don't know if y'all can tell the difference, but this one is brighter than this one. This is more of a darker color. Let's see, get a little closer. Maybe it'll help you see it that way. Now you can tell. So, anyways, and then we have the bees. And if you're doing a bee journal, these would be really good for bee journals as well. So there's that. Then there's four, and you will get four of them. Uh, contact me, and we'll and I'll tell you the price. For right now, I'm not making up a price. Okay, this one is more springtime, or you can call it floral. It's up to you. I've got this pretty pattern. Of, I do believe that's like double hibiscus with a single hibiscus. And I know a lot of people don't understand what I'm talking about, but these are the ones that only have pattern on this side. When you open them up like that and like this, that's the only place that these have the print. I don't know why they did that, but that's the way they are. I can't do anything about it. But that's that one. And then we have the whoops, the green leaves, and it's the same way as well. And then we have the um, what do you call these uh, petunia? No, petunias, uh, pansies. And they only have it on the front part, which is strange, too. And these have a scent to them. I don't know why they smell like, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's strange. It's like, it's hard to explain. You'd have to smell <laughs> know what I'm talking about. But this one here is printed all over it. So you get that one. And pull that back up. Oh, I'll get it on the wrong side, I guess. Okay, so there's that four. Okay, bring that a little closer so you can see the flowers or the leaves on that. And on those, those are real pretty, real pretty flowers. And then that cool, uh, you know, like old fashioned look to it. Uh, actually, these are vintage. Not all of them, some of them are actually more up to date, some of them are vintage. Okay, and then we have the bunny rabbit one and it is like this all over it which is really cool so scenery here scenery there that's what you get on that one and then we have the the um, I forget what it's called this uh, burlap the burlap um, texture with lace on it and everything it's real cute but I like the um, what they call dusty rose uh, flowers and that's on all four corners like that as you see it's real pretty and then this one is brown just solid like 
this is the paper that I was talking about. I love to use to like make my paper look coffee stained when I don't have the time and I don't want to wait for the spritzer to work. I just glue my paper, put this down on there, and y'all, I'm not kidding you, it looks so cool. It looks like it was coffee stained, but perfectly coffee stained. It's like really, really good. Uh, I do believe this is a two plus, so you'll get two pieces out of it to do that with, as you see. So these are really cool. I love this kind of tissue paper. I love, love, love it. I use this a lot. And the reason why I stuck this color in here is because of this. And with him as well, there's colors of him. This is in the coloration of him as well. Now this I just threw in there because it matches this. And it's very florally. I do have other blue. I plan on making a blue batch too of, um, of these tissue papers. Uh, but this is what I have so far. This is all on all four corners. Very vintagey in some spots, like that's vintage. You know, even that can be, this is vintage. And of course, vintage pictures, you know, vintage. That's a coffee bean. But anyways, um, that is in that one. Oh wait, I don't know, did I have the, I think I had the, had him up front. So there's that one. And you can use that for Easter too, which is over with now. <laughs> um, but it will be coming back around and plus people just love little bunny rabbits so this is a springtime one and it has butterflies this one is one of the vintage ones and it's like that Turn it all the way up there you go this is long wise this way which is really cool and i'll play it like this instead it's really cool and the paper is really soft like grandma's purse you know whenever she pulls out her napkins to wipe your little face and your cheeks you know <laughs> if you're my age anyways you remember what I'm talking about <laughs> uh, and then we have the butterflies and this one's only printed on the front that's it unfortunately that's the way they came um, I don't know if that one's vintage or not but it probably is this one is more of a summertime look to it and it's like that all through it on all four sides all four corners I mean sorry there we go this one's very good for like a mermaid journal or you know mermaidy kind or summertime you know because of the seashell I thought that in a beach kind if you want and then I threw this one in there because it has these colors in there so there's that one and this is in this one. It's the same one that was in this one, as you see. But this one is the floral one. We have that, that. This is a very bright one right here. <laughs> and then this one is very bright too, but it's very pretty. And this one has all four corners as well. As you can see, very bright and vivid colors. This one's, I do believe, all four corners as well. And it's all butterflies. This one is all four corners as well. And this one, of course, I already showed you. It's all four corners. And there's four in that one as well. I'll bring them closer so you can see them closer better and everything. Okay. And there's this one. And then there's this one. I'm not saying all these are vintage. I hope you don't think that that's the case. I think this one is, though. i got to look that up. Because on the package, it, it, it says, like, 1988, I think. This one is not, though. This one, I do believe, I bought at Tuesday morning. And then last but not least, I just um, set these up. I haven't... I, I've got to buy these sleeves for these kind of things to go in first. I haven't done that yet. I'll probably package them in something else just as is. It's the best I can do for right now. If anybody does choose to buy them. These are only three in a pack here because I can't find anything else that will go with these. This one right here is vintage. It's from the 60s. And this one I seen. It was one of those little small ones, you know, that you carry in your purse. Kind. And it's got balloons all over it which is really really cool it opens up and that's what you get right there it falls back up 
If you'd like more of one more of these, let me know. If you'd like one more of this one, let me know. If you'd like another green, and there's there's the green, and the green is because of the green in this, and the green. Well, there's no green in this, but the green in this. That's what I did it for. But if you want to make it an even four like the other ones, um, just let me know, and I can put you either one more of this one in there or another one of this one in here. Yeah. And that is my um, my little new thing um, I'm thinking about doing is selling napkins. And if there's any here that you see, which I do have another pack to this side for Christmas time that has vintage ones. Um, but this is the uh, spring, summertime, yeah, spring, summertime one right here. I will have a Thanksgiving and Halloween version. I call it fall. Um, and then I'll have the vintage Christmas ones. I do have those to the side. I can show those as well, which I might do. I'm going to make sure I don't mix these up. There we go. Put these back over here until I can get them back in your sleeve. Now, here's the Christmas one that I have put away ready and waiting for Christmas time. And I'll just pull out the one that I have ready. They come in the little squares like this. And the first one will be the Christmas present, I call it. And it's got this pretty little bow on it. Sorry if my camera is not focusing. There we go. It has the pretty little bow with the pretty um, plaid look in the background. And then we have, and this is all four corners of plaid, and the bow is only on the front right here. And then there's the um, snowman. I think it's unfocusing it again. There we go. And it is all four corners as well on this one. So I did it all four corners on that one. Same thing with this little happy face of a snowman. These are vintage, like I said. There's the inside. They're just plain. And the, on the edge here and there, you've got the snowman. And then we have these cool ones here. I love this one. It's got two little round kittens, and I thought I'd put them in here, like, because, you know, Christmassy, and they're very cute. But I love the, the, like, I don't know, the sweetheart look, I guess is what it's called. But these little guys... Are on all four corners. And then we have the funny, of course, elves and elves of uh, reindeer. <laughs> and they're on all four corners, I do believe. Let me open this up and see. Yes, it is. And I thought those were really cute. <laughs> and of course, this is the other vintage one that I have. And I'm trying to open it up. All four corners. And that will be my Christmas one for whenever Christmas time comes. And if you would like to buy this early, let me know. I can set that up for you too. Because I can make another batch of them if need be. No big deal. I just didn't think anybody would want to buy any, you know, right now. It's not near Christmas time. But that is what I am selling soon. As soon as I can find the sleeves for all these to go in, I'll have them packaged, and then I might go ahead and take pictures and put it on my Etsy store. But for now, if you're watching here on YouTube, and you see any of the packs that you want, let me know. Like this one is summertime, okay, because of the seashell, or you can call it seashell. This one is bunny rabbit. You can call it bunny rabbit. Um, this one is uh, pansies. Uh, yeah, pansies. Um, then we have the vintage 60s balloon ride. You can say that, okay? Say balloon ride. And then we have the springtime hibiscus. And then picnic, okay? That's what they're going to be called. Picnic, springtime, balloon ride, put that over here, um, pansies, uh, bunny rabbits, or bunny, uh, uh, beach, or seashell. 
it's up to you. And then of course the Vintage Christmas. And I do believe that's the only ones I have right now available. I haven't even haven't even done the Halloween Thanksgiving -y ones, which is going to be a lot of pumpkin looking ones. So yeah, I've already got those put up. I haven't even got around to doing my little bundle. And if you'd like me to do a bundle for you of the Thanksgiving or the the uh, pumpkin ones, <laughs> let me know and I can make a batch up for you and let you see what it looks like. So, okay, that's it. Thank y'all for watching and I'll talk to you later and be sure to subscribe and hit the like and the bell notification and all that good jazz and comment. Like I said, if you have any questions, if you have any requests or anything, if you don't know how to go to the Etsy and request anything there in, in the messenger area, messages, I mean, uh, you can comment below here on uh, YouTube and you know, tell me which one of these you would like, and then we can I can make the uh, setup over on Etsy uh, where you click it and only you can buy it. And I would only let you buy it anyway, so that's how that would work. So with that said, I thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day, and I guess that's it. Bye.